G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Stream. So, today, my brother-in-law, I don't know whether I mentioned, uh, oh, obviously she's going to know. My brother-in-law brought his girlfriend a fish tank for her birthday. Um, obviously, it's quite big, so I'm guessing he's already told her, so I don't need to keep it a secret on the video, because they live together. But anyway, um... I thought it was a good opportunity to um, give a few pointers on um, how to move a fish tank. So what I'm probably going to do, I'm going to pick it up. I might do some B-roll. I mentioned in the end of yesterday's video. I might do some B-roll and a bit of voiceover, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to play it by ear. Um, going into someone's house. I don't actually know the person that we're buying the tank off. The only thing I'm... The bird's going mad out there. Um, the only thing I know about them is their Facebook, is their name. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is I don't want to be rude filming. So I might, I might take the camera in there with no tripod and stuff and just have a chat. I mean, just have a little B-roll film. We'll see. And then we'll go to the brother-in-law's, stuff the brother-in-law. Um, he's family. I'll film in his house all I want. And um, we'll get stuck into it anyway. So there's a couple of little pointers I want to I want to teach you guys when we do this. Um, anyway, I'll show you as we go. All right, guys. So the stands in my car. I completely forgot to film. Um, the chick actually just couldn't believe how fast we packed it up. Uh, that's Martin, my brother-in-law, and uh, here's the tank. It's uh, it's almost it's five foot by about twenty inches by twenty inches, two canister filters. All right, guys. So that clip got cut short. Basically, I was filming and they wanted to have a chat. They were really chatty people, really nice. Um, I'm pretty stoked for Marty. They, there's actually I didn't look at the photos properly, and um, there's actually two canister filters. So one of the things I actually said to him was he will need to buy an extra canister filter. So I drained the canister filters. A misconception with canister filters is to leave them full of water for transport. Drain them and leave a little bit of water in. Bacteria actually survives better in damp conditions than it does in still water. So if you're moving it's actually beneficial to take the water out of the canister filters. Um, so there was a few fish in there, a um, couple of angels and, and a few bristle nose and stuff. We're just going to fill it with tap water, guys. And um, I've got I've got Seachem safe back here. Um, I'll leave this tub with him, and um, oops, and I'll just get him to dose the tank for a couple of weeks. Um, every other day or so. I don't think it'll need to be every day. There's not enough fish in there for it to really get a huge bloom. Um, so yeah, I'll see you at Marty's house. I'm going to film in his house because his family. I can film there. I won't be embarrassed to film in a stranger's house if you know what I mean. I'll see you in a minute. So, tank's in position. Um, we're just putting the gravel back in, but we're going through it because it had all these bright blue rocks in it. We pulled all them out. Um, I set the two canister filters up. One thing I didn't notice before, this door is a bit dicky, but it'll be all right. So there's twin 1050s in here. I'm not going to open them just yet. Um, we're going to open them in a week or two's time. Um, assess the media and maybe they're quite small canisters for the size of the tank, so I might order some Marine Pure Substrate Pro, Pro Substrate and um, really get some good substrate in these. Um, I don't think he needs to go bigger filters, just needs to be conscious of picking the right media. So basically we're going to get the hose in in a sec. Um, 
I need to plug this power cord in first to make sure I can reach the p switch. Uh, Alright, so, um, we're just filling up with tap water. Um, I told Martin that we'll just set it up. No, no cleaning, nothing. No cleaning the gravel, no cleaning the filters. Um, don't be disheartened by how gross it looks. But the less we interrupt stuff, the better. Actually, that's a good point. I've got to get the water conditioner out of my car. Alright, so I was on my way out to the car and I found some prime. Wow, this LED is really bright. Um, in the box of, of stuff that they gave him. Um, I'm not really going to measure it. We're just going to pour it in. I don't actually know the... I haven't used prime for years. I always use the... Oh, jeez, I can't undo it. I always use safe, which is the same thing. One cap full for 200 litres. All right, we'll go about that much, I reckon. Maybe a little bit more. Um, Prime doesn't hurt. Prime doesn't kill fish, guys. So you can run it strong. All right, so we're sorting the shit out. I said throw all this stuff out. It looks like they've tried to chase pH at some stage. If there's one bit of advice I can give to a novice fish keeper is ignore the pH. Just use your tap water. There's like literally brand new air pumps in the box. There's like four air pumps. Um, we all know how much I love these ones. <laughs> um, check out this hang on the back filter. I wouldn't even put that on my 10, 10 litre be better tank. Um, why you would buy that, I don't know. There's all spare parts for the canister filters. Check, check out the ornaments. Like, there's like, there's a car, there's a massive castle, there's a bridge. It's a bit of driftwood. There's a weird thing. Um, so they had all of these in that tank. Like it would have just looked ridiculous. Um, not not enjoyable to the eye. There's a heap of nets. Um, gravel vac. Uh, there's these things. I absolutely hate these. These are the worst things ever made. They're air stones with LED lights built into them. Um, there's like a three foot one there and a little ten centimeter one. Um, and there was heaps of backgrounds, really strange, like, there was like five or six rolls of background, um, then like the weekend feeders, I wouldn't really bother with them either, fish can go two weeks without food, but I think that's about it guys, the tank's filled up, it's, there's nothing to see, it's pretty murky, alright, you can kind of see there's big pleco here, he's probably 25 centimetres, um, it came with, so the guy was an electrician, I'm not going to bag him out, but it came with some decent LEDs. Look at the cable coming off the LEDs. That's like, you could run 20 amps through that cable at 240 volts, and this is like 12 volt at probably like 1 amp. <laughs> yeah, well it's a, the transform is only 100 watts, so... If you know anything about electrical, you can understand why I'm laughing at it. Um, the double-sided tape's falling off. Uh, I, I'm going to tell Martin just to drill, drill four holes here, or even just two holes, and cable tie over it to hold the ends, because these ends are always going to peel off. But it is a good upgrade, because if anybody has seen these sort of tanks, these fluoro tubes here, hang on, I'll get some light. These fluoro fittings, they just get water in them because it's so humid under there. And you just end up tripping your RCDs. So they're pretty crappy lights. All right, guys. Whoa, man, that's bright. This little LED puts out some light. I can't even actually see the camera. But anyway, that was a fun little afternoon. It's like eight o'clock at night, and I haven't had dinner, so I'm grumpy. Um, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I'll probably be pretty tired because I haven't stopped since six o'clock this morning. Um, but I'll see you then. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button. Peace out.